So in this video, I'm gonna be addressing the skepticism around using loops and presets when you're making your own music. I'm gonna clarify exactly what they are and then give you some facts to help you decide whether you think it's something that you should be using in your music production. That's all coming up. Hey, how's it going guys? It's John Holt here with The Audio Journey, helping make music production accessible to all. And here on this channel, what I do is a variety of music production tutorials, mainly focused towards beginners and beyond. So if that's something that you might be interested in, then definitely consider subscribing. So first of all, let's just clarify exactly what I mean by a loop or a preset. Now, a loop is an audio file, most commonly, um, from places like Sample Magic or Loop Masters, which are websites that you can buy loops from. And essentially, it's going to be anywhere between a couple of seconds up to 10, 15 seconds, possibly, of just drums, for example, or just a, a synth loop or a bass loop. And it's just a building block that you can use when you're making your own music. A preset is something slightly different. So a preset is something that you would find maybe in a synth like Massive or Serum. And it's basically just pre-saved settings or presets. And it lets you use a particular sound, a particular keyboard sound, a particular bass sound, whatever kind of thing you're trying to make. Um, it lets you use these pre-saved settings um, to make your own music. So what I discuss in this video is obviously my personal opinion. It's by no means right or wrong. It's just my spin on this topic. So I personally think there are times when it's definitely valuable to use loops and presets in your music. And I think that people that just automatically sort of shun it as being not proper music production or you haven't done it all properly yourself are definitely missing out. It's especially helpful for beginners and even more intermediate producers. So there are times when it's okay to use them, times when it's not okay. I'm gonna dive into what I think they are. Let's start this off with presets. Now, let's picture, for example, Rockfield Studios, which is a studio out in Wales where lots and lots of famous bands have recorded from 70s all the way through to nowadays with bands like Royal Blood. In Rockfield Studios, there's a lovely grand piano, and it's what Queen recorded Bohemian Rhapsody with, massively famous song. But do you think the next bands that went in there after Queen sat down at that piano and thought, can't use that piano? That was used in Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, and it's the same thing. Of course not. I think that's a really important piece of logic to keep in mind when people say that using presets isn't your own sound and and you've not made it yourself. It's piano sounds and drum sounds and trumpet sounds have been used in music for so, so many years. People recognize it as a type of sound, but as long as you're doing something different with it to the last person, I don't see any trouble with using a preset at all. Presets can be great to just spark an idea of a type of sound that you want, and then you can adjust certain settings within Serum or Massive or whatever you're using to make it a little bit your own and, and make it suit the song more to what you need to be doing. And I think the only time that you can stray into trouble when you're using your own presets is when you're directly copying a pattern or a melody from another song, because that's definitely going to be recognized. and maybe not immediately by everyone that listens to it, but there will be a few people that listen to it and say, that's the same type of sound, that's the same pluck sound, and that's the exact same melody as was used in that other song. Like, as long as you're original with it, and as long as you're not directly copying people, as I say, in my opinion, absolutely no harm in using presets. So now let's move on to loops. And it's definitely a little bit different to presets. I have a bit of a different opinion on loops than I do presets. So. I think loops are something that you definitely have to be a lot more careful with when you're using them in your music. So I can picture a time recently that I was flicking through the Apple loops in um, in Logic and I stuck on this one drum loop for ages because I recognized it from a song. I couldn't pick out which song it was, but I listened to it over and over again. And I'm absolutely certain that one of the songs that I've been listening to recently had that drum loop in it, I just recognized it. It could have been a coincidence, but I'm almost certain that I recognized it. And that is the big fear that people have with using loops and presets. People are gonna think that the music that they've made is unoriginal. And there's definitely some validity to that. And I think definitely much more so with loops than with presets. So 
let's talk about some good times to use loops. I think if um, if you're using them maybe to get inspiration, if you aren't sure what kind of percussion you want in your drums, if you're not sure what kind of synth line you want, chuck a couple of loops in and you might just find like a pattern of synth or some bits of percussion that you think are, are really good and then you can build your own drums around that or you can make your own synth line similarly or just taking inspiration from that. Musicians have taken inspiration from other musicians throughout the whole of history. It's definitely nothing to be frowned upon. Um, one of the reasons that I use loops is I use something called top loops when I'm making electronic music. So what they are is basically drum loops uh, without a kick drum and without any real low frequencies in them. And what they do is when I've made my own drums, I've programmed a kick, clap, snare, hi-hat, all those kind of things. I'll add in a top loop at a really low volume and it just gives a lot more energy to, to the drums. And because it's so low down and because there's so much else going on, it's not recognizable. And that's pretty common practice throughout electronic music production. And I think just to give an example, that is an instance where I would be more than happy to use a loop in my own music production. Saying that loops must get bad press from somewhere. And I think the reason they do is because people will just use a drum loop as their drums. And I don't think that's a particularly good idea myself. I think it's really good to maybe pop a drum loop in and get some inspiration from it, but then make your own drums sort of drawing inspiration from that as opposed to just using that drum loop or using that bass loop because you like it or using that synth loop. And building up a whole track purely using loops is definitely not a good idea if you want to try and establish a name as an artist, really. It's definitely one of the reasons at least that loops get bad press and I think as long as you avoid doing that you just use them for a bit of inspiration or you use them to pad out elements of your song that you've made yourself then there's definitely an advantage to using them and you definitely shouldn't avoid them just because they do get that bad, bad press as long as you use them carefully. So to conclude I think you should be using presets I think they save a massive amount of time that could be unnecessarily spent on programming a sound that's already been made as long as you're using it in a different way to the last person I see absolutely no fault in using presets and I would actively encourage it when it comes to loops be careful but definitely don't avoid them as long as you're not just using them to make songs as long as you're using them to maybe pad out an element of your song um, cut out some frequencies do some funky stuff with it then there's definitely a use case for loops. As I say, be careful with them, but they can definitely enhance your song at any level, a beginner, intermediate, and an advanced level. So the production tutorials that I watch of producers that I look up to, they use loops. They just use them carefully. So that would be my advice. Again, all of this is just personal opinion, but I really hope that's helped. Um, don't shy away from them. Use them properly, and I'm sure you'll see some really cool benefits from them. Now, I've been John Holt with The Audio Journey. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you want to see more. Take care.